Rideshare drivers are lined up, dozens of them along Park Avenue here in downtown Brooklyn, heading toward the Brooklyn Bridge. They are going to be driving a caravan over the bridge and straight to Uber's Midtown headquarters. The drivers are holding up signs, protesting, saying that they need some sort of financial relief, that this is unsustainable for them to have to pay for their own gas at the prices that gas is going for right now. They say they just can't make a living wage. So they want Uber and Lyft to impose a fuel surcharge as Uber does in virtually every city except New York. One driver told me she went from paying 60 bucks to fill up her tank to 100 bucks. Some drivers have to fill up twice a day. They're, they also want Uber to take no more than a 10% commission from each ride. One Uber driver named Michelle, who I talked to, told me that Uber's commission is close to 50%. She says drivers are working harder to try and recuperate what they lost in sales from the pandemic. And now, because of the high gas prices, they've had to change the way that they operate on a daily basis. As drivers, you know, just roaming the street to be at the nearest pink, uses all this gas, so now drivers are now pulling over and waiting instead of just roaming to be able to be the closest to the rider. So now the rider is going to suffer because it's going to be a longer wait time. I have to pull up like twice, twice a day, and I have to watch my gas all the time. Now, Lyft has said that drivers can take advantage of tax credits and get cash back if they buy gas with the Lyft debit card. Uber points to a recent uh, minimum rate increase that was put into effect in the city about a month ago. And uh, so that is their response to all of this. Also, last week, Uber said that yellow taxis can now be accessed inside of the Uber app. Uh, but for these drivers, it's just not good enough. It doesn't cut it, so they're going to be heading across the Brooklyn Bridge in about half an hour. Reporting live in downtown Brooklyn, I'm Katie Carrado, PIX11 News.